Hello class 6 students, welcome to the science digital class. Today we are starting the chapter 3rd of your textbook which is clothing materials. इस chapter में हम clothes के अलग-अलग materials के बारे में बात करेंगे. So let's start. Chapter at a glance. Different types of clothing materials, fibers and fabrics, some plant fibers, some synthetic fibers, history of clothes, types of fibers, some animal fibers, development of clothing materials. So let's start. First, engage. Identify the source of the items given below as plant or animal. Circle the items that are obtained from plant sources. Line and bow tie, woolen sweaters, silk sari, cotton suit. So, aap is activity ko apne aap se try kijiega. Hum chapter mein aage badte hai. After food, clothing is our basic need. Clothes protect us from heat, cold, rain, dust and insects. The kind of clothes people wear varies from place to place and season to season. So, food ke baad humari sabse badi need humare clothes hi hote hai. Hum kaise kapde pehente hai? Ye season to season aur jagha par bhi depend karta hai. Different types of clothing materials. Ab hum alag alag clothing materials ke baare mein jante hai. Clothes are made of different materials. We get these materials from both plants and animals. Let us learn about how the story of clothing started, the different materials used to make clothes and how they are made. History of clothes. In ancient times, people used to cover their bodies with bark and big leaves of trees or animal skins and furs. People used to just wrap these around various parts of the body in different ways. People, after people began to settle down in different communities and with the development of agriculture, they learned to weave twigs and grasses into mats, baskets and other utility items. They also used to twist vines, climbing plants and animal trees, wool coat of animals or hair into long strands. These long strands were then woven into fabrics. In India, Cotton was grown near the river Ganga during Harappan period as early as 2500 BC. The, there are evidences showing flax, linen, a plant that gives fibers which were used in Egypt 7000 years ago. In ancient Egypt, cotton and flax were grown near the river Nile and were used for making clothes. At that time, stitching was not known to people. They simply used to drape a big piece of cloth around them. This is how saris worn by women originated in India. Invention of sewing needle led to the stitching of fabric into various types of dresses such as shirts, pants, suits, blouses and skirts. Even today, fabrics like sari, dhoti, lungi and turban are worn as unstitched clothes. Purani zamane mein लोगों को स्टिचिंग की टेक्निक के बारे में पता नहीं था तो वो क्लोथ्स को या फैब्रिक्स को सिर्फ अपने बॉडी के अराउंड ड्रेप कर लिया करते थे फाइबर्स एंड फैब्रिक्स एनी क्लोथ मेड फ्रॉम यार्न और फाइबर्स बाय वीविंग निटिंग और फेल्टिंग इज कॉल्ड फैब्रिक फैब्रिक्स आर मेड ऑफ लूज थ्रेड्स कॉल्ड यार्न यार्न कंसिस्ट ऑफ वेरी थिन स्ट्रैंड्स ऑफ फाइबर टाइप्स ऑफ Fibers. Fibers are either natural or synthetic. Natural fibers. Natural fibers are obtained from fibers of animal, animal coats, silk worms, cocoons and plant seeds, leaves and stems. Cotton, wool, silk, linen and jute are natural fibers that are used for making clothes. Cotton and jute are obtained from plants while wool and silk fibers are obtained from animals. All plants have fibers in their body structure. So, different types of fibers hote hain aur unse hum fabrics ko banate hain. Kai sare alag alag type of fibers hume animals or plants se milte hain jaise ki cotton and jute plant se aur silk ya fir wool animal se. Cotton and mango have fibers on their seeds. Jute plant has fiber in its stem. Banana tree has fiber in its leaf. 
Coconut has fibers on the outer covering of its fruit. Synthetic fibers, the fibers which are synthesized in industry from simple chemicals obtained from petroleum are called synthetic fibers. Synthetic fibers ko hum factories mein obtain kar sakte hain. Some plant fibers, cotton. Cotton is the most important industrial crop. It has been grown in India for more than 3000 years. The cotton plant is a shrub. It grows well in black soil and warm climate. It needs moderate rainfall. Humare yaha India mein kai saalo se cotton grow hoti hai. Cotton ke liye, bla cotton ke liye black soil ki need hoti hai. Cotton fabric soft and durable hota hai. Knowledge basket. Cotton is world's most important non-food or fiber crop. Cotton fabrics are soft and durable. They are good absorbents of water also. How is cotton obtained? The plant of cotton take about two and a half months after its sowing to bear white or yellowish flowers. Cotton is obtained from the small green fruit called the cotton ball. The ball has seed inside which is which are surrounded by cotton fibers. When the cotton balls are mature, they burst open and expose the raw cotton fibers. Cotton fibers are collected manually. In this image, you can see a cotton plant. After this, the fibers are sent for ginning where the fibers are separated from the seeds. This separation is brought about with the help of strong air currents. The fibers are clean and made into long thread like strands. The fibers are spun using spinning machines to form cotton yarn. The process of making yarn from fiber is called spinning. Yarn is then made into cotton fabric by weaving. So cotton jo hoti hai, wo ek shrub crop hai, jo ki ek flower ko bear karta hai, aur us flower ke around usme ek seed, usme seeds hote hai. Cotton seeds ke around cotton fibers hote hai. After a period of maturing, जैसे ही plant mature होता है, तो जो flower है, वो open हो जाता है, और उसमें से फिर cotton fiber बाहर आ जाता है, और इस cotton fiber को manually इखट्टा करके factories में भेजा जाता है, ताकि इसको seed से अलग किया जा सके. In this image, you can see spinning and weaving. Spinning करके हम cotton fiber से yarn बनाते हैं, और yarn से फिर cotton fabric weave करके बनाया जाता है. Spinning was earlier done by simple hand spindle called takli or spinning wheel called charkha. Nowadays spinning on a large scale is done by machine. The weaving process uses a loom in weaving. The wrap thread, the length way and the web thread cross way are crossed over one another in a set method in order to weave the required type of fabric. In big industries the weaving is done on power looms. Uses of cotton. Ab cotton hume kis kis cheese ke liye use aati hai? Let's see. Cotton is mostly used for making clothes of various kinds, towels, curtains, etc. The blends of cotton with man-made fibers such as viscous and polyester are used as press materials. Cotton pads are used in hospitals. Cleaned and sterilized cotton is used as absorbent in hospitals, bandage is also made cotton thread. Cotton seeds left after separation of cotton balls are used to produce cotton seed oil. Cotton seed oil is refined and used like other vegetable oils for human consumption. The dispersed cotton is used as filter in mattresses, pillows and quilts. Cotton clothes or strands of spun cotton yarn are used in mops for cleaning clothes. Since it is very light and good absorbent, it is mainly used for making clothes for summer. Next, our fiber is jute. Jute is one of the cheapest natural fibers. Jute is the most extensively used fiber next to cotton in amount produced and variety of uses. It is obtained from the stem of plant called patsun, which is 8 to 10 feet high plant. In this image, you can see a jute plant. Knowledge basket. Commercially, jute is the most important fiber next to cotton. It is also called golden fiber. It is a rainy season crop and grows best in warm and humid weather. 
almost 85% of the world's jute cultivation is done in Ganges Delta. It is cultivated in Bangladesh, China, Myanmar, Burma, Nepal, Pakistan, Thailand and India. In India, jute is mainly grown in Bihar, Assam, Odisha, Andhra Pradesh and West Bengal. Jute is the world's cheapest natural fiber. It requires an ideal temperature range of 18 degrees Celsius to 33 degrees Celsius and humidity in the range of 70% to 80% to grow well. The jute plant is normally harvested when it is at flowering stage. If the plant is allowed to mature, then the fiber becomes very hard. The stems of the harvested plants are immersed in water for few days. The stems rot and fibers are separated by hand. This process is called retting. The dried fiber are then tied together in a small bundle to make fabrics. All these fibers are first converted into yarns. So, jute ko hum golden fiber bhi kehte hai. Ye world ka sabse cheapest fiber hai. Jute ko hum uski flowering stage par hi kaat kar aur uski stem se hum jute ka fabric banate hai. Kyunki agar ye zyada mature stage pe gaya to fiber bohat hi tough ho jata hai. Uses of jute. Jute is said to have more than a thousand uses. Some of its important uses are Ab jute kis kis cheez mein use aata hai? Let's see. It is used for making strong packaging material such as gunny bags, ropes, etc. It is used for making carpets, handbags, etc. It is used chiefly to make cloth for wrapping bales of raw cotton. It is used as raw material in textile, non-textile and agricultural sectors. Fine quality of jute is also used for making jute fabrics. In this image, you can see a jute plant which turned into a jute fiber or perusse bane jute made products. Now let's look at the some animal fibers. Silk. Silk is a natural fiber which is woven to manufacture expensive textiles. It is obtained from the cocoon of the silk worm. The rearing of silk worm on a large scale for the production of silk is known as sericulture. Silk worm is reared on mulberry leaves for the production of silk. A caterpillar hatches from the egg of a silk worm. As it matures, it spins a continuous thread up to 800 meters long to make a cocoon around itself. At this stage, silk worms are killed by dipping the cocoons in boiling water. This kills the insect and loosens the cocoon. Uses of silk. Let's first see silk. Silk ko hum silk worm se banate hai aur silk worm mulberry tree ke leaves par grow karta hai. To vaha par usko, vaha par uski rearing karke usko silk ko produce kiya jata hai. Silk jo hai bohat hi expensive textile mein use hota hai. Silk ke different uses hai. Non-absorbable suchers used in surgery are manufactured from silk. Manufacture of textiles. Chinese doctors have used silk to make artificial arteries. Manufacture of parachutes and artillery gun powder bags. Wool. Wool is another natural fiber obtained from the hair of animals like sheep, camel and goat. Removing the wool from sheep is called shearing. Wool jo hai animals ke hair se obtain hota hai. Or ye animals like sheep, camel and goat se hum remove karte hai. Or is process ko shearing kehte hai. After shearing, the wool is cleaned and washed. The cleaned wool is spun into fiber. This fiber is then woven or knitted to make woolen clothes. Woolen clothes retain body heat. That is why they are used in winter. Animals se unke fiber ko alag karne ke baad, hum wool ko wash karte hai, usko clean kiya jata hai. And then, फिर उससे woolen clothes बनाए जाते हैं. Woolen clothes warm होते हैं, इसलिए in general हम उन्हें winter में wear करते हैं. Uses of wool, wool किस किस चीज में use आता है? Making clothes for winter, making carpets, making mittens for fishermen, making quilts. In this image, you can see sharing, उससे wool बना and then wool से sweater. Some synthetic fibers. Synthetic fibers wo hote hai jo factories mein 
कुछ केमिकल्स की हेल्प से बनाए जाते हैं सो लेट्स फर्स्ट लुक एट नाइलॉन इट इज अंथेटिक फाइबर इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन नाइनटीन थर्टी एट वेन नाइलॉन इट इज क्वाइट स्ट्रॉन्ग येट वेज लेस देन एनी अदर कॉमनली यूज फाइबर नाइलॉन फाइबर इज स्मूथ नॉन एब्सॉर्बेंट ड्यूरेबल एंड ड्राइज क्विकली इट इज इलास्टिक एंड रिजिलियंट एंड सो नीड्स नो आयरनिंग Nylon melts at high temperature. Polyester. It is a synthetic fiber produced chiefly by reaction of dibasic acids with dihydric alcohols. It is a strong fiber resistant to crease and thus keeps the shape. Polyester is a strong light and weather resistant. In this image you can see a polyester fabric. Developments of clothing materials. on the basis of raw materials the process of cloth making was developed in the following three stages hum kis fiber ka use kar rahe hain apne cloth ko banane ke liye us pe depend karta hai ki kaise hamara cloth banne wala hai in general three steps hoti hain stage 1 during this stage plant fibers such as cotton flax nettles and inner bark of trees were used to obtain cloth stage 2 During this stage, fibers from animals such as wool, silk were used to obtain cloth. Stage three, this this stage begins towards the end of 19th century. During this stage, man-made or synthetic fibrous materials such as nylon, rayon, polyester, etc. were used to make dress materials. During 20th century, blends of man-made fibers from from plants or animals were developed. clothes made from such plants have improved strength resistant to wear and tear and are easy to wash our choice of clothing is influenced by the following factors to so, 20th century ke dauran jab man made fibers bhi aa gaye to fir man made fibers or animal producing fibers ya plant natural fibers ko mix karke hum apni clothings produce karne lag gaye aur wo clothes thode resistant the towards weather towards tear and they were easy to wash our choice of clothing is influenced by the following factors climate culture and tradition occupation daily needs tiktok artificial intelligence in recent years brands have been using ai to enhance customer shopping experience analyze data boost sales forecast trends and offer inventory related guidance chatbots and touch screens are being used in stores to improve customer experience and customize product suggestions it's almost impossible to head to a fashion brand's website and not to find some form of ai chat technology that's being used to help enhance the customer experience the technology behind ai includes algorithms that track customers journey to match them with the right products now let's look at the moral land clothes teaches important values like protection clothing that provide physical safeguards to the body preventing harm from climate and environment identification establishing who someone is or what they do modesty covering the body according to the code of decency established by society status one's position or rank in comparison to others 